This month, Austin's mayor said he ended the partnership between Austin police and DPS leaders. But is it really over? Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marine. And I'm Jennifer Sanders. KXAN's Brianna Hollis shows us what has and has not changed since then. At 11 and Trinity. DPS's bigger role in town is here to stay. By registration. There's just less input from City Hall now. How did we get here? Well, the mayor wanted to cut ties with the agency after a traffic stop that concerned him. Then Governor Abbott doubled down, directing troopers to stay in Austin and adding another 30 of them to patrol the streets, bringing their Austin Violent Crimes Task Force staff total to 130. So what has changed then since the partnership ended when it comes to APD's role with DPS? Is it just fewer meetings at City Hall? Are you, you know, both agencies still working together on finding the right areas to deploy and whatnot and you know going over crime statistics is that still happening you know we we do communicate but not as much as we used to when the official partnership happened i think when there was an official request from the city of austin dps came and talked to our council directly they came and sat in some of the meetings here at the the headquarters and we we chatted about what we're seeing in the community and where we wanted them to be. Now, uh, all of their deployment strategies and their decisions is completely up to them. APD Assistant Chief Jeff Greenwald says the department was disappointed when the partnership ended and pointed to a recent murder arrest where a suspect admitted he stopped burglarizing vehicles when DPS started patrolling Riverside. So that it doesn't surprise me at all to know that they're still talking to each other. It's Mayor Watson, little, who asked uh, DPS to come in the first place, said the relationship between APD and DPS, despite the extra troopers, isn't all that different from what it's been over the years. It's not as though uh, when the partnership ended, uh, they, there was a banishment of people to not talk to each other. Uh, that would be silly. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And DPS's presence has drawn criticism from community advocacy groups concerned the efforts targeted underserved communities. Adding a little depth right now, DPS troopers have also started to focus patrols on downtown Austin. In fact, during last weekend's response when a gun accidentally went off in someone's pocket in a 6th Street bar, DPS troopers responded. Now, they did tell us their units primarily assisted with crowd control as Austin police worked the actual scene. Prior to this, they focused primarily on high volume call areas and areas where APD needed help covering due to the staffing issues. Now they're still patrolling those areas, but now adding downtown Austin.